Metric is now available for free on the iOS App Store. So if you have an iPhone, head across, search for Metric VBT in the App Store and you can download it for free. Now, by the time you watch this video, Metric might have evolved. We're constantly developing and, and adding new features and functions. So since I filmed this, there's already been an update to the app. So hang around to the end of the video to check those out. Let's dive in, let's take a tour and have a look at the interface and some of the functions and the features you can use with Metric. First, when you open the app, you'll go through a little bit of a tutorial. So you need to use circular regulation size plates, 450 millimeters in diameter, and you need to shoot from a side-on position. It doesn't have to be exact, but roughly side-on so that Metric can track the lift accurately. Once you've done that, you'll then create an account. You can do this using your email or using sign in with Apple, it's up to you. The account doesn't do much at this stage, but in the future, they'll allow you and allow us to save data so you can then create some contextual history and start using some of the really powerful features of Metric that are in development at the moment. Once you're logged into the app, it's pretty blank. There's not much going on. That's because this home screen will be where your set data lives. So the first thing we need to do is get into the gym and record your first set of an exercise. To do this, hit the big plus button down the bottom, select a new exercise, select the name of the exercise you're gonna be recording, enter the weight, and hit confirm. This will take you to the video viewfinder. From here, we need to set the phone up in a stable fixed position, roughly side onto the lift. So if you're doing a squat or a bench press, something out of a rack, it might be a good idea to raise the phone up onto a box and just position the phone somewhere side on, maybe five, 15 degrees to the side of the barbell. From here, press record and do your set. Okay, so when you finish the set, you press stop, it does a little analysis, and now you've got some data for your first set and your first exercise. Up the top of the screen is a little bit of a set overview. Some details, the date, the name of the exercise, the load. There's a little button there so you can press that and save your set. And we can also go in and review. So you can tap on that little thumbnail and you can go and you can watch the video back to see any technical things, maybe save the video to your camera roll so you can share it with your coach, post to social, whatever you like. If we go a little further down the screen, we've now got the set highlights. If you tap on that mean velocity highlight card, it'll take you to a bar chart for your mean velocity. Up the top, we have best rep, set average, and velocity loss. Velocity loss is the change in velocity from the best rep in the set to the last rep in your set. And a little bar chart showing any sort of decay in velocity across the set. Further down this velocity highlight card, you'll see uh, the velocity trace button. Open that up and it shows you the trace of velocity across the set. If we go back home now and we go into the ROM highlight card, you can see the same thing. We've got a bar chart, this time for the range of motion in centimeters. In future versions of Metric, we'll be offering more highlight cards. So you can look at things like power, time under tension, tempo, peak velocity numbers instead of means if you like those. Now back on the home page, if we scroll down below these highlight cards, we'll get a table view of our reps. And we've got our rep number, mean velocity in meters per second, and range of motion in centimeters. So you can see your whole set laid out in numbers if you're more of a number person as opposed to a visual person with the bar charts. The other pieces of the home screen are the help button up the top, which takes you to some little troubleshooting guides and some tips and tricks to help you optimize your recording setup. Uh, and then down the bottom corner, we have a profile button. We're busy working on on features that allow you to uh, store this training history and review this context in the future. But for now, once you record that next set, this current set's data will be gone. So you might want to uh, write it down somewhere. The best option for that is to use the VBT Coach logbook. Log your velocity data in there and you can create a training history using it. Bit manual for now, but we will be adding these features to metric down the track. Okay, those two new features I promised up at the start. The first one is a rest timer that's connected to your home screen. So as soon as you finish the last rep of your set, that timer will start counting and it'll display on your, on your home screen, give you an actual rest time that's been since you racked the bar. The second new feature is a video overlay. So when you go in to watch a video or share the video to social media or save it to your camera, there's a little overlay now that has your velocity data and a rep count. This allows you to look at your objective data while assessing the subjective, maybe technical issues within your video, within your set, so you can combine the two and get the best assessment and then improve your technique or improve your performance. Check it out on the iOS app store. It's free to download, create a profile, start lifting with it. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Uh, and then yeah, enjoy, happy lifting and away you go.